What's up, everybody? Big Will, K-Pop for Life, coming back at you. And welcome to a very special edition of K-Pop Rants Afterthoughts. So today we're going to be talking about Twice's new song that just dropped a few days ago called Dance the Night Away. So I do these videos called Afterthoughts that I just started doing recently because when you do a reaction video, the first time you listen to a song and you're forced to say the first things that come to your mind and oh, you have to kind of kind of make it up as you go. If you're doing it right and you're not cheating like some people do and watching it ahead of time, um, sometimes you change your mind afterwards. Sometimes it takes a few listens to like it. Sometimes you like it when you hear it and then you hear it five more times and you're like, all right, song is, I'm done. I'm, I have no, this song is boring. I'm, it dies real quick. That kind of thing does occur. So I think it's necessary to revisit a song after a couple days when you've had a chance to listen to it on the radio, in your car, you have a chance to really watch the music video and pay more attention to it when you're not sitting there jawing with somebody or whatever and focus in and see if your opinions change. And I will say, that although I pretty much originally thought in my first video, if you haven't seen it, I'll put a link to the description below. I'll put a link in the description below for my reaction video twice. I will say that I thought it was relatively at best a mediocre song. And it was, I believe I used the term meh. It was meh. It wasn't bad. It was just meh. And I would say it's a couple steps above that now that I've had a chance to absorb it. I think obviously I had some preconceived notions and say whatever you want. At least I'm being honest. Pre some preconceived notions when I saw the video, the the uh, the bit photo teasers and everything, where they're on the beach. I kind of got a secret Yuhu vibe, and I got a, um, a Girls Generation party vibe. I even made a video about the the two very obvious comparisons between those two videos. Go check that out. Link in the description below. Um, but in retrospect, in watching it a few times, and in not getting part of the damn song out of my head every time I have heard it, it stays in there for hours. First off, it's definitely an earwormy kind of song. Somebody made a really good point in the comments, and I don't remember who it was, but they said that it basically sounded like a juice commercial. And yeah, it did kind of sound like a juice commercial. Like, I feel like they should have had some, like, grape juicy juice, and they should have been, like, slow motion, like, you know, with, like, really nice lipstick on, and it, like, slightly tilt her head back and overly enjoy some grape juice or some shit like that. Yeah, I, I can see that. And there's nothing wrong with that. This kind of music, generally, if you watch my channel often, or you're not, if, if you're new, I enjoy poppy bubblegum music. And that's what that was. It's still a little too simplistic for me. I feel like the transition from the main verses into the pre-chorus and the chorus and, and beyond... It was just like the same thing. You know, there was not enough diversity within the song. It was very simplistic. And I know it was done that way on purpose by the producer. But it it, it doesn't have enough in it to stay. Now, I, do, I will say, now that I've had a chance to watch it a few times, I actually enjoyed the dancing. The dancing was decent. I've watched a few of the live stages, too. And I enjoyed a lot of the dancing. Uh, it, it looked a little more complex than a lot of their other stuff. Their other stuff are very usually very hand movie and accessible to lots of people. This was a lot more. Uh, there was a lot more leg action involved. It was a lot faster paced because of the tempo of the song. Um, so I enjoyed that. But the song, I can tell it's it's. Let's be honest. This is not twice his best song. I think even most wonsters will. Uh, will admit to that. Now, this is not this is not gold. All right, this is only popular because the fandom is huge and extremely loyal. If another girl group had released this song, it wouldn't be popular. That's just how it is. That being said, Twice released it, so we judge it as a Twice song. And I don't know. I would say my initial review was probably four out of ten. Four out of ten, and I'd say now it's probably uh, five and a half or six out of ten. Not good, um, not great, but good. It is decent. Um, if I see a live stage, this is how I enjoy it sometimes. Like, if I see a new live stage, do I care enough to watch it? And I think in this case, yeah, I usually watch it for a few minutes. I don't always finish it because about halfway to three quarters through the song of the constant that trumpet noise, it kind of grates on me after a while. They could have done without it so much. And also, one last critique. 
while they didn't necessarily cram rap into this video like they tend to do in most K-pop girl group songs, I think they at least recognized that it wasn't... It would have been really stupid to cram it in this super bubblegummy song. But they instead crammed like a pointless ass talk rap break where they basically gave the lead rapper and the sub rapper in uh, Chung Yun and um, uh, Daehyun like five seconds a piece, right? Why bother? <laughs> Why bother? <laughs> it's, just, it's pointless. You should have just come up with some kind of a better transition or, you know what, been ballsy and crammed like a, I don't know, maybe like a more up-tempo sort of like Mina, Kang Mina from Gugudan kind of sounding rap, you know what I mean? From like a Semina. That probably would have flown a little bit better, um, but that was probably the worst part of the song was the break. It's like, ugh, this is, this is pointless because you're just desperately trying to break up the eh, 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 eh. But like I said, overall, I still get the song stuck in my head. Because now I'm, I'll be walking around going, one, two, three, let's go. Let's dance the night away. You know what I'm saying? It gets stuck in your head. And you do this thing in my head. It looks like one of them simple banging monkey things. That's what they do. And I, that's what I see. So that's what my body does. Um, but yeah, have your thoughts and opinions changed on the Twice song? Have you even listened to it again? Or have you listened to it so much now that you hate it? <laughs> I don't know. Or, or, or do you feel the same when you first saw it? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, I look forward to all your hate because Oncers are becoming a very angry fandom. You guys, you guys can't take criticism. You're getting as bad as the army. You better watch that shit. <laughs> Keep on popping K-poppers. Remember, it's not a trend. It's a lifestyle. Deuces. Do you feel the pull?